So, so my last video, I said this. I'd really wanted to add a little comedy to this one, like I did with the last video, because those are always more fun to make, and I feel like they're also more fun to watch, maybe? And there are a couple of reasons I want to incorporate more comedy into my videos. One of them I mentioned in that clip, and that's because the scripts with jokes in them are genuinely more fun to make, and hopefully they're more fun for you to watch. I know they are for me. That is when I'm not absolutely cringing and thinking to myself, oh my goodness, why did I think that joke was funny? Which happens a lot. But even that has value, because when the joke makes me cringe because it didn't come off how I wanted it to, I can take note of it and hopefully correct it for the next video. And hopefully over time, I'll start to figure out my own sense of humor and comedic timing. So this reason for wanting to add more comedy to my videos is kind of a two-parter. One, simply put, adding comedy just makes the whole process more fun. And two, I think the process of comedic trial and error will eventually help me to develop and hone my own sense of humor. The second reason I want to add more comedy to my scripts is because I think it'll increase the overall entertainment value of my videos. Because at this point, it's basically non-existent. Most of my scripts either involve me expressing something that I dislike about myself or detailing something that I'm struggling with. I've mentioned this before, but if you're not personally invested in me or my growth and development as a human being, then I'd completely understand you not wanting to watch my videos. I can absolutely envision someone seeing my videos and thinking to themselves, okay, wait, so this guy is basically just DIYing his own therapy and learning lessons that most people have already learned? I mean, that's cool and I wish him the best, but like, I've got my own issues to deal with. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this rare 15 minute break I have to watch something that's actually funny and that helps me either deal with or cope with those aforementioned issues. And I just think it would be really cool if my videos could fall into that category of something that's actually funny and that helps people either deal with or cope with their own particular set of issues. Because right now, I don't think my videos are checking either of those boxes. I mean, they definitely help me to deal with my issues. And so I'm gonna keep making these videos regardless. But it would literally be the coolest thing I could possibly imagine if these videos were so somehow helping other people deal with their problems too. And I think adding a little comedy to these scripts could help my videos maybe one day do that. So that's the second reason I wanna add more comedy to my videos. But the third and definitely the most important reason to me is because I think comedy is the best way to identify, expose, and confront behavioral flaws. Let me explain. So this all comes down to what I believe the purpose of comedy is. Now, there are actual comedians, philosophers, and other deep thinkers who have spent their entire lives and careers trying to answer this question. And their answers are inherently going to be more comprehensive, more intellectual, and more nuanced than mine. So I'm in no way trying to place my unprofessional, untested, insignificant opinion about comedy next to theirs. So take this opinion with a huge grain of salt and also consider it as just that an opinion, one formed by doing nothing but consuming way too much comedy and thinking way too much about it in the comfort of my own room. And also one that assumes that everything has a purpose, which is a stance that many people would justifiably refute. I should also say that there have probably been tons of people who have had the same idea or belief about comedy before me. I'm not trying to blow anybody's mind here. How I conceptualize comedy is probably how a bunch of people already conceptualize comedy. I'm just way too lazy to do the minimum amount of research to verify if and when someone somewhere has said this before. But anyway, on to this belief that I've hyped up for way too long now and it's probably going to be super disappointing because of it. Okay, so basically, I believe that comedy at its core, that is its ultimate purpose, is to help us identify and expose the absurdities of the human condition. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Well, first, when I say the absurdities of the human condition, I'm basically just talking about all of our various and unique imperfections as a species. Both the imperfections that we all share as well as the more unique ones that only pertain to certain groups or individuals. I don't think there's a single group or individual who's exempt from perpetuating these absurdities. I mean, I think it's fair to say that every person, every family, every community, every culture, every country, etc. has some absurdity slash imperfection associated with it, right? I mean, can anybody really assert that there has at any point on this planet existed a perfect person or a group of people? No, right? Every single one of us is flawed in some way, and we are flawed both individually and collectively. Not a single one of us is perfect, and that's a sentiment I'm 
confident in asserting that the majority of people believe in. So when I say the absurdities of the human condition, all I'm really saying is that nobody's perfect. Cool, so what's comedy's role in all this? Well, like I said earlier, I think comedy is the most effective way to highlight these absurdities. Why? Because it takes the sting out of the very harsh and very painful process of having to come to terms with your own flaws and imperfections. Like the OG herself, Mary Poppins, once said, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. And I believe comedy is that sugar. I think it's so much easier to acknowledge your shortcomings when you can laugh about them. I think we obviously and justifiably get defensive if and when someone else calls us out for doing something absurd, especially when we don't view that behavior as an absurdity. But I think we can also get defensive when we call ourselves out for that same behavior. It's almost like an automatic defense mechanism that our ego deploys in order to protect us from feeling shame and embarrassment. And I think comedy is extremely effective at penetrating that automatic defense. Because when you're laughing, you're disarmed. And when you're disarmed, you're more willing to accept a critique about your behavior, no matter where that critique is coming from. And once you can accept that critique, you can start to address and fix it. Now, I know that there are so many different types of comedy that don't perfectly fit my definition. And I have to acknowledge that. This is a work in progress, so I'm definitely gonna have to revisit and revise my take as I get new information. I mean, even as I was making this, I started scrolling through some of the memes I've saved on my phone to see if these jokes that I clearly find funny for whatever reason still fit my definition. And the truth is that not all of them do. I mean, check this one out. And first of all, if you haven't gone back and rewatched The Mummy, do that. It absolutely holds up. But yeah, this meme doesn't really have much to do with the absurdity of the human condition, does it? It's just an extremely clever justification for a, to be fair, an absurd take on reality. So I guess in some abstract way, the absurdity of the human condition is still relevant here. But that's not what makes this funny. So it still doesn't support my original definition of comedy. Okay, here's a better one. Now this meme has absolutely nothing to do with humanity and our imperfections as a species. And yet I can't help but exhale sharp through my nose whenever I see it. And then there's this one, which is probably as far from my definition as you can get, but I still straight up choked on my water the first time I saw it. And so I guess I need to rethink my original statement about the purpose of comedy. Well, that didn't take long for me to realize that I was wrong about something yet again. But I guess what I'm really trying to say is that I personally believe that comedy is at its most effective when it's being used to identify and expose behavioral flaws. I guess I can't really speak to its inherent purpose yet, or if it even has one, since there are so many different uses for and expressions of comedy. But at the very least, at this point, I still stand by a little bit of what I said before about how I believe comedy is the most effective way to penetrate the ego and disarm us so that we can address the absurdity of our behaviors. And so circling all the way back to my original reasons for wanting to incorporate more comedy into my videos, this is the reason that resonates with me the most. I just think that approaching my flaws in this way will make me better at identifying, confronting, and dealing with my behavioral absurdities. And that's ultimately what this whole video making process is about for me. Now, I do have to acknowledge the reality that I just wasn't able to add comedy to my last video, even though I tried to. I had reworked the script a few times to include jokes, but for whatever reason, it just never came together how I wanted it to. But when I stopped trying to write in jokes, that's when I was comfortably able to finish the script. I've said this a few times before, but sometimes the script just comes out as it comes out, and I don't always have full control over it. And this time, the script decided that turning 30 was no joke matter. I guess I was just too in my feelings about the whole situation. And so this video that I'm making now isn't a promise. It's an aspiration. I'm just saying that as I make more videos, I hope that they'll have more comedy in them. But I'm not going to make it my explicit goal to try to add comedy or to force jokes when there's just no room for it. Because like I said, I don't always have full control, at least not yet. Sometimes, because I'm not the person I wanna be yet, I just really need to vent and there's just no room for jokes. But hopefully by the time I'm making my I'm turning 31 video, if I'm not very excited about it, like how I wasn't excited about turning 30, I hope the video I make will include me laughing at myself over my disillusionment regarding the entire situation and won't include me being legitimately down in the dumps over it like I was in my turning 30 video. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, and I should just emphasize 
realize that this is my goal for myself. There are no statements here about how people should be. Some of us are more serious and some of us are more lighthearted. All I'm saying is I don't want to take myself so seriously anymore because I think that'll help me get over some of the issues I've been dealing with over the past decade. But that's really it. Okay, but before I write a whole part two diving further into that last statement, I'm gonna end this one here. If you made it this far, thank you so much for hearing me out and for listening to me make a bold assertion only for me to take it all back, not even five minutes later. I tend to be wrong about a lot of things, so be prepared for that to happen a lot more. But no, seriously, I truly appreciate you watching and I hope that wherever you are, whatever you're going through, something is making you laugh. That spoonful of sugar really is magic. But with that said, I wish you all the best going forward Take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Peace, and be easy.